Inside the latest edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand, Brandon Costa from Sports Video Group. Have the distinct pleasure now to be joined by a good friend of SVG. He is Gordon Brooks, Executive Chairman and CEO of Zixi. Uh, Gordon, first off, it's great to see you. I didn't see you too long ago. It was at CES, though it feels like a lifetime ago now at this point. Uh, it hope, does. I hope, it you, does. hope you, your loved ones, and all your colleagues at the company are uh, doing well and hanging in there right now. <laughs> Yeah, we're all uh, we're all working remotely, but everybody's safe, and it's it's great to see you again, Brandon. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so I'm curious in what ways. Uh, I mean, you guys operate in an environment that you know certainly can feed into the current uh, broadcast infrastructure that everyone seems to be finding themselves in now. Um, but in terms of Zixi, in what ways have you needed to pivot the company, if at all, over the past four or five weeks since the coronavirus pandemic really locked everyone down? Well, from a from an internal perspective, obviously we were early to to get people to uh, work from home, and we're, you know, ninety nine point nine percent able to do everything virtually. Um, just the nature of our software, how we monitor software, how we use IP, uh, and how everything software oriented, uh, software defined, not not hardware defined. So that was not uh, difficult to do uh, physically. Emotionally, it's a little difficult, but so we do. Uh, we do a, a social hour uh, Monday nights and Friday nights, uh, where everybody gets together and has a couple adult beverages. And then, uh, and I just did one Thursday t- this morning with the European team. Obviously, I was drinking coffee, and they were. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you could slip a little Bailey's uh, into that. <laughs> yeah, so that that's good. Um, we've been spending a lot of our time getting people home, so changing how our broadcast and our media customers are. Uh, you know, redefining their workflows to get people uh, remote, uh, whether that's confidence monitoring or, you know, uh, live shots and things like that. So we've been doing a lot of that. As a matter of fact, we sent out a, a, a note and told all of our clients that uh, are using Zen Master and even some that have not started using it yet that any increased usage uh, for, not, for 90 days that's due to, you know, getting people remotely working, uh, is on us, so no, no charge. We didn't want that to be a hindrance for uh, getting people safe. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm wondering how, if at all, the t- certain bigger trends in the industry have changed. Like you said, on one hand, you guys are well-equipped um, to help people operate in this environment, but when you're speaking with your clients, um, how have their pain points or their questions of you uh, maybe altered in the light of, you know, as you mentioned, people working more remote? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's very interesting. Um, a lot of people have strategic plans to do uh, certain things that all of a sudden they had to break the glass and do them now. It's, it's amazing what, uh, uh, you know, something as, as sad as this is to, that, that really gets people motivated to, to do things that they had to do. Um, so there, there's, it's, it's been interesting. I've done a, we did a couple polls lately. We did a webinar on um, pivoting to remote um, remote work, mm-hmm. okay, and um, it was very, very interesting. We had about 80 global media industry executives, and we, we pulled them uh, during the webinar, and this was on the 3rd of March, uh, or the 3rd of April, sorry, uh, and 53% of the respondents believe the current statewide shutdowns will last for another two months. This was just checking the pulse. Mm-hmm. Um, and only 16% believe that the current shutdown will last more than six months. So this was just a couple weeks ago. 66% believe that it's not a unique single one-time event. And 81% believe, believe that their organizations require permanent remote workforce capabilities. So that, that was interesting. So just uh, a couple weeks or a couple days ago, we did an, another one uh, with 180 media execs. Uh, and 97% believe the move to remote, remote workflows will provide new revenue opportunities. 93% thought that they'd uh, provide cost-saving opportunities. 95% uh, believe that uh, will drive faster cloud adoption. And 93% believe the move to remote workflows requires more telemetry and data and orchestration. So there's a lot more moving parts that you have to, to manage. Yeah, so a, lot of, a lot of insight there uh, potentially onto what can stick. I know we're talking a lot about it internally here. It's like, what are we doing now because we have no choice? And what uh, probably was going to happen ever anyway, and to your point, is now being accelerated because of this environment. 
Yeah, and then, you know, people had to do things really quickly. Now, how do we make them industrial strength? Right, right. Okay. Uh, all right, great. Well, this is certainly still a time of the year where it, it feels a little weird to not be flying out to the <laughs> desert to go be at NAB and show yeah. a bunch of new stuff. Uh, know that that doesn't necessarily stop companies from yours or like yours uh, from making new announcements, introducing new products, new enhancements to uh, the product Zen Master that you mentioned earlier. Uh, so what if, uh, what do you guys have that's new that uh, your clients uh, should be excited about? Yeah, so we're having a virtual uh, NAB. It's called Powered by Zixi for two weeks. We're doing, uh, I think, six webinars uh, at 11, 11 a.m. each day, and then um, or most days. And then we're doing, uh, you know, company to company meetings, just like you do at NAB. And we're uh, announcing a, n a number of things. We're announcing version 14 of our uh, software defined uh, video platform. And with that, you think of it, self-defined video platform has four real components. It has protocols, right? It has a video solution stack, it has Zen Master, and then it has the network of software and hardware that you're integrated in, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, on the product protocol side, obviously, we continue to have the, the best protocol in the market, but we also support 17 other protocols. And uh, we just, uh, we're just announcing now that we're providing support for NDI, uh, risk ma main profile. We've been risked uh, for quite a while, but risk main profile, uh, SRT, TCP BBR, multipath BBR, and WebRTC. So pretty much any, if you're doing live linear or live video, um, th there's probably not a device on this earth that you can't use to send or receive uh, uh, information uh, live video through through Zix. So that was an important step and it's also a way to future-proof people's decisions and if you think about moving cargo valuable live cargo think of the protocols as the tires on the truck so there, it's good and you want the best and you want it to last the longest but but it and, and it's very important but it, there's a big there's a lot more to it so then you have the chassis and think of that uh, that's what we call our video solution stack and that's what allows you to do you know bonding and hitless failover and pit normalization and scuddy logging and de-jitter certain protocols that are prone to jitter mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know and you know high max bit rate so there's a lot of lot of that and that's version 14 and a lot of those things i was just talking about are are new in, in version 14. So you got the, the tires, the protocols, you've got the uh, video solution stack, which is the chassis. And then you have to say, how do I, how do I drive this? And how do I someday autonomously drive this? And that's, that's all about telemetry and that's all about orchestration, right? So that's how you, that's how you, you, you drive this thing. And so we've rewritten a, a complete new UI for Zen Master. So Zen Master, is uh, three years old, and so we just did a complete uh, redesign so that it's uh, improved user experience, and it, it's got a, a bunch of new features which are going to be showing uh, all of next week, um, including dark mode and and um, a lot new uh, lot a lot of new capabilities around remote monitoring and things like that, which the timing's really good considering how much people need to do a remote mon monitoring. So that, that's uh, there's a lot. Uh, to show there. And then um, since NAB last year, we've signed uh, 100 new uh, software uh, and hardware partners. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we're up to 170 technology uh, partnerships. You know, recent uh, ones are Ad Insertion Platform, uh, Blackbird, uh, NetInsight just announced that we're, we power them, even though we've been doing it a while. They just came out with a big announcement, I think, this week. Erdetto, Mond, Edit, share, and media kind are just a couple of the, the more recent ones. So again, 180 um, total technology partners, uh, which again, with all the protocols we support, means that you, you know you can you can have end-to-end -end Zixi integrated through your whole solution stack. Yeah, really, really interesting. All right, Gordon, well, you've been very generous with your time. Before we let you go, uh, any specific sports partnerships or any uh, deployments of the technology out there that you're that you're kind of able to share as examples for people right now? 
Yeah, well, we, we've got a fair amount of experience doing remote uh, uh, sports. We did uh, for the Tennis Channel, we did, a, I think, a, a six-day tennis tournament with eight remote cameras, and uh, they sent two people with a server and an internet connection, and they did it 100% a remote on center court, uh, which, which, is, which is good. We're working with uh, several major sports uh, leagues, and I can't really talk about them, but they're trying to figure out how do we still play our sport in venues that are not our typical venues without crowds, mm -hmm. which means they need a new uh, workflow. And so we're very, very prone at that, and we're very, very good at allowing people to work remote. So uh, a lot of people are doing a lot of prep, getting ready for sports to come back, and uh, and everybody wants sports to come back as soon as they can. And so hopefully we can get it come back safely. Yes, hopefully. Yes. All right, Gordon, well, we really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, it's been a pleasure seeing you. Hopefully next time it's under better circumstances, but uh, we know it's really busy right now, so we appreciate you sharing, some, uh, sharing a few minutes with us. My pleasure, pleasure, Brendan. Thanks. All right, he is Gordon Brooks, Executive Chairman and CEO of Zixi. You can find out more about them and some of the other companies that we've talked to on the SVG Sports Tech On Demand series right now over at sportsvideo.org.